did a video lecture for chapter R section 4. My name is Jorge Gabi Young and this is for MAC 1105 College Algebra. So in section 4 these are the objectives that we're going to be covering. So the first one is we're going to go ahead and recognize monomials and a monomial in one variable is the product of a constant and a variable raised to a non-negative integer power. So a monomial is in the form of a x raised to the k power where a is a constant, x is a variable, and k is greater than or equal to zero and is an integer. Now the constant a is called the coefficient of the monomial. If a does not equal zero, then k is called the degree of the monomial. So let's go ahead and recognize polynomials. A polynomial in one variable is an algebraic expression of the following form, where a n, a n minus one, all the way to a zero are constants. These are called the coefficients of the polynomial n is greater than or equal to 0 is an integer and x is a variable. If the leading term a n that does not equal 0 is called the leading coefficient and then a n x raised to the n power is called the leading term and n will be the degree of the polynomial. So some examples of polynomials here we have the first example uh, negative 8x to the third plus 4x squared minus 6x plus 2 you can see that the degree of this polynomial is 3 coefficients are negative 8, 4, negative 6, and 2. And you can see the, the, the rest of the examples that we have. Next thing is we're going to add and subtract polynomials. So adding polynomials, we're going to find the sum of the polynomials. So you have 8x to the third minus 2x squared plus 6x minus 2 and 3x to the fourth minus 2x to the third plus x squared plus x. And so when adding these what we're going to do is we, we can do it um, two ways, horizontal addition or vertical addition. Either way, uh, if you do it correctly, you should get the correct answer. What we're really trying to do here is just combine like terms. Uh, so you can see that 3x to the fourth, there's no other um, x to the fourth power, so that stays by itself. 8x to the third and 2x to the third, or negative 2x to the third, we can combine those and we get 6x to the third power. And then we have uh, negative 2x squared and x squared, and we can combine that to get negative x squared. Then we have uh, 6x and x, that will give us 7x, and then negative 2, the constant is by itself. So the final answer will be 3x to the fourth plus 6x to the third minus x squared plus 7x minus 2. Subtracting polynomials, so find a difference. The, uh, the key here is just remember when you have a negative in the parentheses, uh, when you remove the parentheses, all the signs change. Um, so then we have 3x to the fourth minus 4x cubed plus 6x squared minus 1. Uh, and that becomes uh, minus 2x to the fourth uh, plus 8x squared plus 6x minus 5. And then again, we just go ahead and combine like terms. And our final answer is x to the fourth minus 4x to the third plus 14x squared plus 6x minus 6. You also have vertical subtraction that you can do. Next thing is multiplying polynomials. Uh, so we're going to find the product of 2x to the 5. To, 2x plus 5 times x squared minus x plus 2. So there's several ways that you can do this. The way that they did it here was they uh, created this derivative property. So they did 2x times x squared minus x plus 2 plus 5 times x squared minus x plus 2. So we multiply out the 2x and the 5 and then we can go ahead and combine like terms. So our final answer would be 2x to the third uh, plus 3x squared minus x plus 10. We also have vertical multiplication. So here's some formulas for special products using FOIL. So we have x minus 3 times x plus 3. And you can see here that we actually end up with x squared minus 9 using FOIL. And so if we have an x or a variable in the same value and then plus or minus, we actually end up with the variable squared minus the constant squared. And we'll also have x plus 2 to the second power, which is just simply x plus 2 times x plus 2, which ends up being x squared plus 4x plus 4. And you can see the example x minus 3 to the second power and then x plus 3 times x plus 1 and then 2x plus 1 times 3x plus 4. Then we also have the difference of two squares which is the example of the first one that we did previously. And then the square of binomials so perfect squares. We also have a special product formula so again here's a repeat of the examples that we did. And then we have cubes of binomials or, or perfect cubes. So we have x plus 3 to the third and then x minus 3 to the third. And we can use the special uh, formulas for those. 
And then here forming the difference of two cubes, uh, so we have x minus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1, and you can see uh, that we end up in this example with x cubed minus 1. Uh, forming the sum of two cubes, so x plus 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 4, and we end up with x cubed plus 8. So when you do, when you multiply a, um, a binomial times a, another one, another uh, polyno or polynomial times a binomial, um, it just becomes easier if you if you do this the distributive property uh, method. Difference of two cubes, the sum of two cubes. So the next thing we're going to talk about is divide polynomials using long division. So the quotient times the divisor plus the reminder, remainder equals a dividend. So dividing two polynomials. So we're going to do 3x to the third plus 4x squared plus x plus 7. We're going to divide that by x squared plus 1. And so each polynomial is a standard form. So the dividend 3x cubed plus 4x squared plus x plus 7 and divisor is x squared plus 1. So here you're going to divide the leading term of the dividend uh, by the leading term of the divisor. So um, what do we need to do to x squared to get to 3x to the third? So we multiply by 3x. And then, of course, step two is you multiply 3x times x squared plus 1, and you get 3x to the third plus 3x. You make sure that you align the uh, 3x term under the x to make the next step easier. And then, of course, step three, subtract and bring down the remaining terms. So you can see here that we subtract. In other words, we, we change the signs of, of that line in the middle in step three. Step four, we're going to repeat steps one, two, and three again to get to the final answer. Now, since x squared does not divide negative 2x evenly, that is, the result is not a monomial, then the process ends. So the quotient becomes 3x plus 4, and the remainder is negative 2x plus 3. So 3x cubed plus 4x squared plus x plus 7 divided by x squared plus 1 is equal to 3x plus 4 plus negative 2x plus 3 over x squared plus 1. So here's a theorem. Let q be the polynomial of positive degree and p the polynomial whose degree is greater than or equal to the degree of q. The remainder after dividing p by q is either zero polynomial or polynomial whose degree is less than the degree of q. Now, we're going to work with polynomials in two variables. We're going to use a special product formula. To multiply 2x minus y to the second power, we're going to use a square of binomials formula with uh, 2x instead of x and uh, with y instead of a. So 2x minus y to the second power becomes 4x squared minus 4xy uh, plus y squared. And that is the end of R4. Thank you.